Hey, what's up, B? John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episode 8. If you have not seen any of the previous episodes, you can check them out in the playlist right here or in the description below. And as you guys know, we are going to be doing this in a Let's Watch format, so you can head over to Netflix by clicking on the card here or following the link in the description below, and we can watch this episode together at the same exact time by following the overlay right here, and we can pretend like you're sitting right next to me, and we're watching this anime together. With all that being said, I'm going to be pressing play and heading straight into this episode in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so I'm honestly pretty excited to start this episode because I like kind of remember the events of this episode from Full Metal Alchemist 2003, and if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be some sick battles, and I'm excited to see those. With that being said, if you have not hit the like button yet, you should probably do so if you are excited as I am to start this episode. Haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood in a while. Took a little break on the weekend, you know how it is to watch our seasonal anime, but we're back here again to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood during the week, and I'm excited to do that. So, without any further ado, we're gonna we're gonna jam out to this opening, of course. You always, always gotta jam out to this opening. And then head into the actual episode, yeah. So if you guys don't remember from last episode. Our boys Ed and Al found out about this, like, secret laboratory that was shut down because of bad structural frame, which is extremely suspect, like, that is extremely conspicuous, and Ed and Al were able to flush that out in a second, and went to the this, like, hidden laboratory in the middle of the night, sneaked out from their, like, bodyguards, and went to this, like, it's like, a, it's honestly, it's weird, it's like a haunted laboratory, yeah, so... It's a little scary if you ask me for these two young kids. I mean, I would be I would be shitting bricks if I were to go to such a scary place, especially with it almost being Halloween time as I'm recording this. But that has nothing to do with the events in the anime. But I am excited to see what happens and learn about the Philosopher's Stone that is being created in this laboratory. Yo. My volume is a little bit too loud, <laughs> but this opening is so good, I don't even mind. Like, I didn't even notice until now. I was like, maybe, maybe it's a little too loud, but let's go, yo. I'm ready. We just jammed out. Let's do this. Episode 8, The Fifth Laboratory. Of course. We remember these events. This this did happen. Sad days, sad days. And just to clarify, actually, a few of you guys let me know in the comment section below, which was very nice of you guys, was that what Ed saw in the gate when he gave up his arm or leg, I don't remember which one it was, was the true way to do human reincarnation without the need of a Philosopher's Stone. So they won't have to sacrifice any bodies, as far as we know, or any people. But here we go. So this is the guy that we saw that went to attack... Uh, 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 I said Al. <laughs> I was going to say Ad. I meant Al. So this guy is trying to fight our boy Al. And he's a little scary, yo. I'm not going to lie. And whoa, that's a big transmutation circle. And that's blood. That's a little conspicuous. Oh god, another freaking... This guy sounds like Bane, yo. <laughs> oh, yo. Alright, so we've got two, like, statue, like, not statue, like, suit of armor guys. Like, people in armor. One of them is fighting Al outside, and it looks like Ed's going to be fighting this guy, too. Woo! Yeah, look at this man, Ed, talking mad game. Woo! 
God damn, that guy was fast as fuck. Yo, is this Rono or Zora? He can also cut through steel, hello? Oh. What? I already knew that, but yes. This man is just like Al. His spirit was confined to the armor. Oh, shit. So they killed him and transmuted his soul into the suit of armor. Yo. Yo, this man is like taking this on like a duel. Yo, this guy seriously sounds like Bane. Oh. How does this suit of armor have a scar? Like, how does that happen? Uh oh. That was such a random cut. <laughs> you see how many stacks of paper this man has in front of his desk? <laughs> yeah, this looks like some fairly odd parents art style right there. You see how thick that outline is? Oh my lord. Yo, that, that stack of paper is serious, yo. Oh, okay. How would, why were there so many bodies there? I don't get it. Like there wasn't anybody around Did like the explosion really kill that many people. But if they were decomposed, then they were already there before. Oh, they found out. These guys are idiots, I'm sorry. They're the worst bodyguards ever. Did you hear the sound of the rope? It was like, whew. Uh-oh. Oh, yo, look at this animation right now. Oh, okay. Oh, yo, look. That's the bolt that um that Winry forgot to put in that she found that she that she found at like the end of that episode credit like in the ending after the ending we saw that Oof. and someone also told me in the comment section that this episode has an end of credit scene as well so we got to stay after the oh goddamn it so we gotta stay after the ending in this one too. Yo, that man cut through that brick. Yo, Ed is getting blown the heck back. Yo, come on now. He got called a monkey. But he pointed out the little part. What the hell? Uh oh. Yo, shout out to our boy Al, yo, Al's a monster. 
Especially with that body, yo. He's got mad weight and mad height on Ed. And his, like, fighting techniques are great, too. Up oh, and Al has just realized he's just like him. Why is Al so surprised? He's exactly the same. Oh, some backstory on this guy? <laughs> some, like, art style, Barry. Uh, art style backstory. He said Barry, and I thought Barry. <laughs> Yo, why is this guy so crazy? Yo, why does he speak to himself in third person? But he's not- oh yeah, he is using like a butcher's knife. I like how he's a little fat. He's like a little fat too. Like his armor's fat. Like how- that's like armor for a fat guy. <laughs> this man, Al, just destroyed his spirit. Oh. <laughs> he just did the same reaction. That he wanted Al to do. Oh. What? Hello? Why are you messing with Al like that? Yo, that was fucked up. He sounds like Pinocchio. I was a real boy. Yo, this guy's being a jerk. Yo, fuck this guy. He's being an asshole. Fucking with our boy Al's psych, yo. Oh, what the fuck? What is with this guy? He just killed that guy for fun. He threw his butcher's knife like a freaking, like, shuriken. Yo, this man's insane. Oh, that man just got distracted like it was nothing. Oh, well, hurry up and get to his head before his body gets up. Finally, yo, this man Ed asked questions. This is what he should have done with the freaking priest. Oh, watch out! Wait. He showed him a fake blood seal? Oh! I get it now. Two people, one body. Oh. 
Oh, god damn. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus, that's a broken rib. Oh, yo! He just used Scar's technique. That was smart. <laughs> Do you see Ed's animation? Like, his head... Oh, fuck. That was fucked up, yo. He's got a brother just like that. Yo, Al, can you please just lay this man out? What type of logic is that? This guy's an idiot. Yeah, why would he do that? Yo. This is like the, um, the, like, inner psych that we were speaking of in the last, in the last episode. Like, what justifies murder, you know? Like, just because these guys are bad people, does that mean Ed will kill them? But he won't kill a good person, like Nina? Wait, who the fuck is that? Oh. Well. Fuck. Why, why is this bitch here all the time? Yo, both of them are here. God damn. No! Oh, fuck. And they're both dead. Sacrifice. They're gonna sacrifice Ed? What the hell? So I guess they're not going to kill him now if they're going to use him for a sacrifice. Yo. Is that a guy or a girl? I'm not sure. I think it's a girl. Oh my lo- Oh, god damn, yo. Oh. His arm is done. Oh, fuck. What the hell? What the hell just happened? Yo, this man Al's brain is all over the place right now.
No! Ow! Oh, fuck. Oh, yo, the bodyguards came in the clutch? Oh, shit, they actually blew it up that fast? God damn, yo, everywhere Ed goes, these people fuck it up. They burn down the library, and now they're blowing up the laboratory that he was supposed to find information from. Oh, yo, what the hell? Yo, what is with these people? Oh, and he, she said he, so that's a guy. Okay. I wasn't really sure. Who is that? Oh, that's the guy that we saw the, um, the freezing alchemist talk to. Kind of weird that we keep seeing that guy. He has to have some sort of relevance, relevance to the story, if that's the case. And that's the episode. Okay, wow. That's crazy. Wait, we gotta stay so that we can see the after ending scene. So, this episode did dive more into the when is it right to kill something scene that we saw in this episode. Because as we know, state alchemists are ordered to kill when necessary. And we all say that, like, what Shao Tucker did was terrible. Like, he sacrificed his own daughter for, like, his research and like yes that was extremely fucked up and he shouldn't have done that because his daughter didn't deserve that however what if it's someone that technically deserves it like these death row prisoners that they were experimenting on is that right or is it still wrong the same way that Shao Tucker experimented on his own daughter so those are two very good like things to think about as this anime continues and see which path Ed chooses as we saw in this episode, he chose not to murder those two people because they're humans and he doesn't commit murder. And even if he tried to play it off like they weren't humans, that would mean that he considered his own brother Al not to be human. And of course, we learned more about these people that we're watching in the ending right now, which are um, Gluttony, Lust, and I don't know the name of the other one. That's a guy. I thought it was a girl. Major Catfish. But we don't know what their agenda is, but we do know that they're using Ed like a pond. And I'm curious to see what that is. So here we go. After ending scene. Oh. Yo. Yo, so this man, Colonel Mustang, is finally going to get one of the promotions that he wanted because we already know that he wants to be the Fuhrer that we heard in past episodes <laughs> he said get yourself a wife but that's that's cool to see that that Colonel Mustang is getting his um like what he wants you know like his character's progressing and we're not watching the episode preview because you guys told me not to watch the episode previews but it's cool that he's getting like 
progression as a character as well and he's kind of slowly gaining the status that he wants so that he be can become the Fira. although i'm not quite sure how that works or how he's gonna get there but it is what it is in my opinion this was a great episode i really enjoyed this laboratory episode kind of delving in more into like the serious like points of this anime and of course the fight scenes were on point animation is amazing and i enjoyed it with that being said, let me know your thoughts about this anime and this episode of anime in the comments section below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.